So Cane Toads arrived at, at Dungu in 2019 and Bandilgan in 2021. We noticed that several crocodiles were starting to die with the introduction of Cane Toads because Cane Toads are highly poisonous to them and they will die when they eat them. Crocodiles are an apex predator. They're really important in the environment because they regulate the food web from the top down. And so when they decline, that kind of destabilizes the ecosystem underneath them. Some populations have exhibited 70% plus declines um, since cane toads have arrived in the area. We're basically trying to teach your freshwater crocodiles not to eat cane toads. You chop the cane toad in half and we just keep the back legs because the back legs have got a lot less poison than the top half of the toad. Um, we then put a high dose of salt into the back legs and then we hang that on an apparatus that dangles over the water. So then the crop will come out at night time and it will eat the back legs. It will start to feel nauseous from the salt content, but it won't die. And then they learn from that experience. So because they've tasted the cane toad and it's made them feel sick, they then don't go and eat a live cane toad and die. Crocodiles stopped eating cane toad baits very quickly, but they continued to eat the control unlaced chicken baits, which showed us that they were developing a taste aversion to cane toad. The areas that we had done the taste aversion baiting, uh, there were no crocodile mortalities. There was, we had prevented the mass mortality events that we were expecting in those gorge systems. But this method has application not just at the front line when cane toads are invading, but also in areas where cane toads have already been for three to five years.